Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video about two months ago that Microsoft's Edge Bar, formerly known as the Web Widget, was available in the stable version of the Microsoft Edge browser for desktop. Now this is just a quick update video to that previous video, and that is now um, the Edge Bar recently has received some new options and changes uh, to the edge bar which I have actually featured in previous videos on this channel if you'd like to go check those out when the feature was still being tested over in Edge Canary. Now it looks like some of those options and changes have made their way now down to the stable version finally now as well where previously when the feature first rolled out to the stable version it was quite buggy and obviously didn't have all the options um, which were available in Edge Canary. Now to get to the Edge Bar, we just head to the menu in the top right, Settings, and click on Edge Bar. And if you don't know what the Edge Bar is, it basically lets you search and browse the web and see your news headlines, check the weather and more without opening a full browser window. Now this seems to be a server-side update because there are no, there's no mention of any um, updates to the Edge Bar in any release notes to the browser that rolled out recently. So this looks like it is a server-side update. And if you haven't seen any of these changes, this is just a, a quick video just to summarize and check out some of those new options. Now, the first is you'll notice that um, you don't have to disable your extensions to use the feature like you did when I posted that uh, previous video. You can now use the Edge Bar with your with your um, extensions all enabled so that's a nice move forward and just open the edge bar by clicking on that link and as you can see it's basically a web widget which is very similar to widgets found in windows 11 and also the news and interests feed over on windows 10. now yeah we can clearly see the new options which are placed to the left and the default is obviously your search with your news feed which you can optimize and you can um, customize by going to the settings you get now your bing homepage directly in the widget also if you use outlook as your email client you can access that directly from the edge bar which is quite handy if you use linkedin you can do the same and you can also add your own custom web page by adding the url and you can name it a name of your choice and yeah you can obviously go to your profile you can go check out your rewards i've mentioned the settings you can pin the uh, edge bar to your desktop and it will it will pin to the side of your desktop where the widget is is floating the nearest side to so in this case it was nearer to the left side so it gets pinned to the left side in this example you can auto hard uh, the widget so you just get your little side panel which could be handy for some users and then we can just unpin that again and then you can refresh your feed and so on and you can also um, you can obviously change your region and format directly from the edge bar so if you use this type of thing and this is you know something you would find useful i think this would be a nice um, these new options are a nice addition to the edge bar and then obviously when you minimize the edge bar you get your little floating button which you can place anywhere um, on your desktop which is quite handy just to open the edge bar and when you minimize it you can also close the edge bar directly from there so they just wanted to let you know just in case you hadn't noticed that those new options have now become available in the edge bar um, in the stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.